Hey you guys, it's your girl Cole and I'm back with another video, back with another video. As you guys know from the title below, this is a hair review video or wig review video. Uh, get ready with me and come along with me, you guys. I'm going on a date, like a date date, like a date, a date date. I'm going, you guys, he's so dreamy. He is so dreamy, y'all, and I'm going on a date. But right now, I just put up to my best friend's house. She's about to want curl my hair. I'm going to record a little bit of it, and I'll pick y'all up later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Because, I mean, who would want to miss a video from me? And her boyfriend just watched me. He's so nosy. All right, y'all. All right, you guys. So, Kita is about to want curl my hair for my brunch. Day. Yeah, she's about to want to curl my hair for my brunch. Day. Like I was saying, for um, in the intro, he is so dreamy. And I'm not showing y'all him. If he decide to get in the camera when, when I'm vlogging, then cool. But if he don't, then I'm not. Like, I'm not showing y'all him, babe. He's just so cute. Ain't he cute, Kita? Yeah, <laughs> And Kita Cat is the ghettoest cat ever. Like, and she horny at this point. Like, baby is horny. Wait. I hate her. But yeah, I just picked my outfit out, y'all. Just went and got it. It's cute and it's giving body. But it's like cute casual. Like it's not too much. It's just right. It's giving what it's supposed to give. And yes, this is our first. But like I was saying, y'all, this is our first date. Um, we showed a little bit yesterday, but not really. I, it was like a hot second. So I am nervous. And I like him, y'all. He's so sweet. He's so adorable. He's one of the type of people that's like real serious and like a non-nonsense type of person. But he's so soft on me and I like that. Like he be soft on me. Yeah. <laughs> and I like y'all that he be watching my YouTube. Like he be on my ass like when you posting again. I, I really like that. I really, really like somebody. He ain't even supposed to be on his tour. And his page probably y'all. That mean he ain't for the streets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all the cat is ghetto like the cat is next to next to the phone i'm waiting for her to no i'm waiting for her to get in the camera so y'all can see like she real bad ghetto all right y'all it's 12 12 i'm running late i'm supposed to meet him at one o'clock which is like 30 minutes away from my house anyway and i'm still not even dressed i'm still not even home and i still gotta run to the store and get two nose rings and some more assess uh, gold accessories I still got to do my makeup, which I'm going to do a simple beat. So I might not do a get ready with me. I know, y'all. I always tell me to do something and then don't do it. It's my life. Don't blame me, y'all. It's really my life. And then I'm going to um, show y'all. I'm going to show y'all when I get dressed. Like, I'm going to show y'all my outfit. And then I'm going to show y'all my um, my simple beat of a makeup. So I might do everything. Or I can talk to y'all while I'm doing my makeup. That's not going to take long. Or when I start my makeup. But all right, y'all. I'm going to pick up when I get home because I'm in a rush. I'll be back. Alright you guys, I made it home. I had already showered this morning, but I had made it home. I'm putting my makeup on. I got my fit on. Oh, kind of on. Kind of like, I'm not even doing like contour or nothing, y'all. Like, I'm literally just putting some Fendi, Fenty foundation on. To cover like my blemishes and my black marks that I hate and I'm insecure about. But he see me without makeup on. So don't think I'm like makeup fishing him or nothing. He see me without makeup on. But I am insecure about it a little bit. So I wear makeup even when my face didn't break out from my birth control. I was still wearing makeup. But um, just not much. Just when I go out. Kita did her thing on these long curls, y'all. She did her thing. I ain't even gonna hold you. I just make sure I ain't so dark. That's why I, I shouldn't have worn makeup. Y'all, I feel like my makeup is a little off. And I feel like it's because I wore makeup last night. Granted, I washed my face, but it don't. I just feel like my face never goes like my way of makeup twice in a row. So, I'm mad about that. I shouldn't have worn makeup last night because I knew I was going to want to wear it when I saw him today. But whatever. Y'all, I'm just, I'm just bomb. I'm just bomb, y'all. I am. But I right, y'all. So, oh, I decided not to wear heels. I'ma wear my Alexander McQueen's and uh, my Leatherman jacket and just be chill with it. I'm not gonna wear heels or the um, leather jacket. 
But I'm gonna pick y'all back up because I'm rushing to give y'all a final look when I get outside. Uh. Okay, you guys, so this is me outside. This is what I'm wearing. Like my leatherman jacket. I want y'all to see the fit with the purse. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I'm wearing today. And I'm running so behind, you guys. It's 117. I wanted to beat him by 130. I'm probably gonna beat him by 145. I'm gonna be speeding. Throwing 60 in the 80. Cause I ain't seen him since yesterday. And I miss him, y'all. I really like him, y'all. He's really different. And I know I feel like my makeup is way off. I'm trying to prop y'all up, y'all, so y'all can see without my phone fucking falling. Y'all, check the body. It's the body for me. Yeah. Y'all can't even see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to pick back up later. <laughs> Alright y'all, I hope y'all call me press. <laughs> but I had to pull over to get my nerves together, y'all. Cause I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm really nervous. So I'm like literally one second from him. But I put over on the on Franklin, I think this is he's on the it's like you go one way this way, one way this way. Like go across the street. So he's on this side of the street. I'm on this side, but he's way up. I just got on this side of the street. And I could have just went to my cousin's house because she lives one block over from the street. I'm on. But I just want to finger through my hair. Say a little quick prayer that this date goes good. Lord Jesus, please. Because I feel like this is my husband, y'all. This is my husband, for real, y'all. I'm claiming it. I'm manifesting it. And I don't really talk about guys on here. I don't talk about it until after it's over. But I'm actually talking and being open. Like, just really. He that. He that, y'all. He that. All right. And I wanted to take a picture anyway. So I'm about to step outside the car so I can get a cute picture. Because I want to do a TikTok. Actually, y'all, I know I'm smacking real bad. My bad. I hate when when I be watching YouTube and they do that. Um, my bad. But I was going to take a picture, but I decided not to. I'm gonna wait till I get to the restaurant and then go in the bathroom and take pictures because I don't want to take my way in man. Cause it's just like the hood, y'all. This the hood. I'm in the trenches. I'm in the ghetto. Right, ta ta I'm in the ghetto. Okay, uh, so y'all. <laughs> I'm kidding for real. But um, I'm just in like a different part of Baltimore for real. For those who don't live in Baltimore that watch me, I'm in a different part. It's like 30 minutes from my house. I live in a county, this is the city. But this is like West City and I live in East County. Do that make sense? But um, all right y'all, I'm gonna go pick him up. I am gonna vlog, but if he don't wanna be in it, I'm not gonna make him get in it. So I'm picking up a cow. Okay, you guys, we supposed to go to brunch at 12. It is 2.01. Um, and I already picked him up. It was seven minutes. We're seven minutes away from where we met at. Um, and don't be trying to judge him because my boo drives. So don't be trying to be like, oh, why you had to pick him up? He drives. But I picked him up. We, we took my car. And we're going to Unity Bar and Restaurant. And we're here. So I'm about to get out and I'm going to show y'all like the restaurant and shit. And I'm going to take a bathroom picture. So y'all can get, so y'all can get what I'm giving because I'm giving. I'm cute, so I'm gonna make sure y'all see it. <laughs> I'm gonna pick y'all back up. Okay, you guys, so basically I had to do a voiceover because the spot we went for brunch has music playing and I uploaded my YouTube video just for them to tell me like it was partially copyrighted. So I deleted it. So now I'm re-uploading it doing a voiceover. So basically this is her promoting Unity um, bar and restaurant. They were dancing. They were so drunk, you guys. They were feeling their self. And I love the vibe. The vibe was everything. I love the interior. I love the location. That was his food. I had ordered for him. He didn't even know what I ordered. He asked me to order, so I whispered to her what I ordered, which was scrambled eggs and cheese, lamb chops. That was his mimosa with the straw in it. I had the catfish and grits with shrimp. And I had mimosa. It was so good. He didn't even realize they were lamb chops, y'all. He smashed his food. He ate all that shit. That shit was smacking mommy. It was real yeah, good. And he talking about he was drunk off that little sip of <laughs> mimosa right, he had. I'm back. And I was on it my second place. And we my was food like was the good, last too. people sitting at the tables. Like, the conversation was just so good. And he definitely enjoyed Did you enjoy it? Yeah, definitely did. <laughs> he, he enjoyed did. it. 
he had a good time. And yeah, like we go together real bad, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we go together real bad, y'all. This, is this my man I'm sick about him? <laughs> what that one meme say? Look at the screen. So that's your man? Yes, that's my man, y'all. And y'all know I don't be claiming nobody on here. But I try, I'm about to drop him off to his car. And I'm just about to leave and cry. I'm going to miss him so much. Babe. Why he smoking my car out? <laughs> y'all see him with the air freshener? Smoking my damn car out. But all right, y'all. I'm going to pick y'all back up because I'm doing a... <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Like I was saying, I'm putting the cut off. Oh, man. I'm going to um, pick y'all back up when I get in the house anyway. Because I got to um, do a wig review because that's what's going on here to show y'all how about I like the hair or blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going to review the, uh, I'm going to give a review on the restaurant because I got a couple of in there and I even had the little wine waiter um, promoting whatever. It was called Unity Bar and Restaurant. It was nice. And they had hookah in there. So show, best, they got hookah in here for you. So I, and I watched No Way Rose don't got no hookah. And we ain't coming here because you wanted me to come here so bad. So you can go to No Way Jose. So or I keep wanting to say Jose. It's No No Way Rose. I want to say Jose because that goes better than Rose. But whatever. All right, y'all. I'm picking y'all back up in a minute. Hey, y'all. Excuse my bed. The kids was just on it. But it is 7.54. And I've been back. I started to record, but my friend called me. So I had stopped recording because it messed it up. And then I... um was talking to him for an hour basically it was almost an hour but you guys um i had such a good time i had a good time like i really enjoy his company i really enjoy our conversation like it was nice y'all it was nice he's he's a nice guy he's he's a nice guy and i like it and even if nothing ever like becomes of our friendship i will always be his friend like i will always like support him i will always be his friend um, but let's cross our fingers. And this is my husband, y'all. <laughs> y'all. But all right, y'all. Let's get into this wig review because, yeah, let me drop some tea. All right, you guys. Let's get into this wig review video that I got from Amazon. And let me tell y'all if I like it or if I don't like it. Okay. So, if y'all see me looking down, because I'm looking at my son's phone. I'm recording with my phone, which y'all already know. But I'm looking at my son's phone, but I don't know if you, you, it's showing a ring. But this is the wig that's currently in my hair. It is from, I, wait, first of all, I paid $141. I don't pay for shipping because I have prom. And um, <clears throat> I pay $141, and it's 26 inches. I'm about to stand up. Excuse me, y'all, I've been sweating. So if you see little spots, it's because I was drinking, I've been sweating. But I'm about to stand up. So that y'all can see. So I can tell y'all if I feel like it's true to length or not. Um, Alright y'all. So this is me. I'm standing up. This is the hair. I don't know if y'all can see it. So this is the back of the hair. Can y'all see it? Standing straight up. It comes right here. And again it's 26 inches. 26 inches of the hair. When I pull it down. So it stops about my waist right here. So I'm going to say yes, yes, yes. Yes, I do feel like it is true to um, <clears throat> length. I definitely feel like it's true to length. But um, I don't know if I told y'all, but y'all know it's a wig. So it's a lace wig. It's a 13, which goes from here to here to uh, 4. So 13 by 4. Um, also, you guys, this isn't the color I wanted. I wanted a... Uh, uh, more I want a burgundy color. This is like a purple Red it's not the burgundy that I was looking for but it still looks good on me um, Basically, I'm gonna read the description. So this hair is from Cantonio store and it says Cantonio 13 by 4 99 J burgundy straight lace front human hair wig lace front red color wig for black women pre pluck with baby hair glueless Brazilian Human hair, 150 density. They lied. The hair did not come pre-plucked. It, did, it didn't say um, pre-bleached, but it didn't come pre-plucked. It never comes with baby hair. And um, 
150 this and then, yeah, I'll say it is. Um, I definitely feel like the thickness of it is cool. I'm cool with the thickness of it. Y'all see Chloe foot in the back, yeah. Um, I feel like I hate the lace. I hate the lace. I hate it. Like, everybody like, oh, I love your install. And that's because Deja comes through. But I hate the lace, you guys. This is the second install. But look. It, I didn't even do anything. She didn't even do anything. It's a hole in the lace. Like, the lace is just not it. And even the bleaching process of it, like, I hate it. I would not buy from them again. Y'all, I'm going to... This is my second install. So, I do not like that it has a hole right there. And, like, literally, she didn't repluck nothing. I had that hole when I came to her. Like, I didn't do anything. Now, what I will say is this lace... Did hold way longer than any other lace that I have had. It held. Like, whatever she did, I don't know if it was, she used the same glue, I feel like. But whatever, this lace held way longer. I got my hair done Thursday. And before that, I had my hair done, it was it was two weeks. So, it held. It only slipped the night before I got, it was time for me to get my hair done because I didn't tie it down. And I was sweating real bad. So, it slipped back. But how this hole came, I have no fucking idea. This is my second install. I'm going to post, like, a picture or something over here of my first install. And, y'all, y'all see that gap between my bed? It's because y'all know I'm moving. So, I took the bed. I took, like, the wood under down because I'm trying to break shit down so it's easier to move. So, don't be trying to comfort me. Like, oh, why you, like, with your bed on the floor? Like, don't. Don't be trying to come for me because y'all already seen my bed. And y'all know I don't sleep on the floor, but I'm in the process of moving. I think it's, I got three weeks to move, so I'm slowly but surely taking it down without being uncomfortable. Neither here or there. No. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's so weak. Like, I, I that's not for me. I don't like that, and it's annoying. So, uh, what else? So, shedding. I hate that this hair sheds so bad. You don't even got to do nothing. It's all falling out. But I can say, like, the density might be more because I shed so much or I brush out so much hair that this wig should be bald. That's probably why it's the bald spot right there because it sheds so fucking much. When I went to go lean in and to um, hug my friend, he had this hair wrapped around his damn going dry. Like, how'd I get there? And he's like, like, it irritated me. It irritated me so bad. But it's like, it's cool. Like, if I run my hands through it, can y'all see it? Like, it's, it's going to shed no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter. It sheds. Like, it's, and it's straight hair. This is straight hair. It definitely, though, holds the curl. I ain't going to bullshit you. I ain't going to lie. Like, it holds the curl. This was all day. It holds the curl. Since earlier, she she curled my hair at um 10 this morning. It holds. It holds, and she used the wand curlers. Like, the curls hold, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a worry, yeah, what you say? Oh, I thought an ugly bitch said something, yeah. I thought a bitch with a fried, mm, I couldn't even talk, y'all. I thought a bitch with a fried leave out said something, yeah. And I hate that people be like, oh, leave the wigs in 2022. Like, no, baby, leave your driest wig in 2022 because I feel like even though I don't... Oh, and I don't like the texture of the hair, y'all. I'm all so off, but I don't like the texture of the... Like, I don't like the way the hair feels. It feels nasty, and it been felt nasty when she first put it in. Like, it just don't feel good. But I feel like it's still, like, the bounce... The bounce back, the curls. Like, and yeah, it holds. You can tell, like, that it's human hair. But I just feel like I don't like the kind of human hair it was. Like, I don't like it. I feel like if, what I say that name was? Contoyo, Contonio would sponsor me, I would do a review. Like, I would wear it for a review. But I feel like just coming out of my pocket and buying it again, I don't think I would. And it's not even, I feel like I did get, I got my bang for my buck. You get what you pay for. I pay $141 for a 26-inch colored 13 by 4 week. So, yeah, I feel like I definitely did get my money's worth. I'm not going to hold you. So, if you're looking and you just don't care, this is definitely the second install that I had with this hair. I had this hair for two. Okay, I had the two weeks. And I know this will hold up for another two weeks. So, I spent $140 on this wig for 
for four weeks. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to get this reinstalled. And if I do, I feel like I would have to get a middle part. But if I, usually, like, I'll reinstall it at least three times before I buy another wig and get her to do another wig. But I don't think I'm going to do that. And the curly hair, I didn't do that either. The curly hair, I did for the whole December, basically. But I had it for some of the November, too. But I didn't get her to restall it because she went on vacation and I wasn't able to go to my appointment. So, I feel like I would I would not do my third restall. I'm going to get another wig. Y'all, I lost track of what I was saying. But basically, what I was saying was usually, I think I was saying what I usually do is get three installs. This is the second one. I don't think I'm going to just do a third one. I'm just going to buy another wig and get that installed. Um, I'm thinking about doing a black bang, and I'm going to tell y'all how I do with that. Um, but basically, I feel like I had told Deja, like, I'm going to throw this wig away. But I think I'm going to try to deep condition it first. Maybe that's the problem. But I just feel like with this, y'all, she did a good job covering it. But with this, y'all, like, I don't want to walk around like that. And that made me say, like, I hate when people like, oh, leave the wigs and the baby hair in 2022. Like, that's some hating that shit. Like, y'all so fucking haters. If y'all can't afford it, just say that. They got them on Amazon, y'all. I'm doing reviews on Amazon. Like, you can get a wig for $100 on Amazon, y'all. Like, I hate that. And especially when niggas say it. Like, I hate sassy niggas. I hate niggas and girl business. Like, that bothers me. Like, don't, I feel like niggas shouldn't be coming on plastic surgery for females and wigs for females. Like, like that's a pet peeve of mine. Like, it grinds my gears when I see niggas saying it. Like, like y'all some clowns. I hate it. Anyway, y'all. So, I would rate this wig is a four out of ten well a three out of ten for real like and then i'm lying kind of because i feel like you get your money's worth like it's you get what you pay for i pay 140 dollars for 26 inches like you're not getting that nowhere you're not but i feel like this is my second install so you could reuse it and the curl it definitely hold a curl and it's definitely cool straight too so yeah like i might do a six out i'm gonna do a six out of ten I wouldn't buy this again. If this wig costs any more than what it costs now, I would not buy this wig. Like, if somebody was to use this as a vendor and be selling their hair for four or five, I would never. I'd be ready to. Yeah, like, give me my money back. Because, yeah, no. But for with the price I got, yeah, I think I would. I definitely probably would again. I'm about to get out of here. Um, I tried to do the get ready with me, come along with me, and the vlog, and the hair review. I hope I did good because this is the first time I did that and I wasn't trying to like expose him or like have him all in here uncomfortable. But I feel like he did really good. I feel like he did good. Y'all, what y'all think? I feel like he's he's kind of shy. Like he don't like all that attention. So I just feel like, yeah, I feel like I did good. I really feel like I did good. And tell me how y'all like the fit. How y'all like the fit? My sister said I should have went more dressy, but I just felt like the place I decided to go, it wasn't like that kind of atmosphere. They did have hookah. Oh, wait, before I leave, I ain't even rate the uh, fucking restaurant, y'all. The food, the food was good as shit. I ain't gonna lie. Our bill came to $150. We had endless bottom mimosas. I think that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. We had mimosas. I had the shrimp, the catfish uh, grits with shrimp in it. He had the lamb chops and scrambled um, cheese, y'all. He told me pick his thing, like just order for him. So I ordered that, and he don't like, uh, he's allergic to bananas, he don't like onions. So he like, pick it, and I, he didn't know what he was getting. So he, and then he didn't even know they was lamb chops. He thought they were steak. And when I told him, he like, I ain't even really, he never had lamb chops before. He was like, it's just the word lamb that turned him off. But yo, he fucked them up. He liked them, y'all. So I was happy that he liked what I picked. And then I had a cheesecake. The cheesecake was cool, too. I don't know if I recorded for the cheesecake or not. But I'm going to post, like, y'all, the food. If I don't already post it, I'm going to post it right here on Chloe Face. So, um, yeah, y'all. But please, 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 please tell a friend to tell a friend because who want to miss a video from me? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Please comment, y'all. Give me feedback. Like, y'all, tell me how y'all think I did on this video.